how can you measure your breathing efficiency? The Bolt score, which is body oxygen level test, it's a very simple measurement and it gives you very, very good feedback of how hard do you breathe. It tells you the onset of breathlessness during physical exercise and it tells you the endurance of breathlessness. How breathless are you over a given amount of physical exercise? The body oxygen level test is as follows. You're sitting down for about five minutes. You have a watch or you have some timer. You take a normal breath in through your nose, a normal breath out through your nose. You pinch your nose with your fingers and you're timing it. How long does it take until you feel the first stress to breathe or the first distinct desire to breathe or the first involuntary contraction of your breathing muscle? And at that then you let go and you should have normal breathing. So the bold score is the time between you stop breathing after an exhalation. So you take a normal breath in, normal breath out, and you stop breathing. And you're timing it in seconds. How long can you hold your breath for? Until your brain sends a signal to breathe. You know, until your body reacts. And it's a definite desire to breathe. It's a definite need to breathe. Your breath at the end should be fairly normal. That's your bolt score. The beauty about it is, is that it's not influenced by willpower or determination. You're not holding your breath for as long as possible. You're only holding your breath until your body reacts. And your body reacts by sending a definite and distinct signal to breathe. That's your bone score. What does it mean? If your bone score is less than 25 seconds, you're more likely to have an abnormal or a poor breathing pattern. If your breathing is suboptimal, it's going to impact you in quite a number of ways sleep, stress, anxiety, physical exercise, functional movement, oxygen uptake, oxygen delivery, nasal congestion, asthma. So I'm not saying it's a cure-all, but there are many things that are influenced by how you breathe. And we do develop breathing pattern disorders. And physical training does not change your breathing. The respiratory system lags behind so for an athlete or for somebody who is, you know, liking to do physical exercise, and even if this is just going for a walk, you don't want to be excessively breathless during your walk because that's going to put you off doing physical exercise. But if your bolt score is 10 seconds, you are going to be excessively breathless during your walk. You'll often feel a hunger for air, even possibly at rest. You'll find at nighttime that your breathing is harder. This increases the risk of sleep disorder breathing. So we want to change breathing patterns so that breathing becomes light and quiet and calm. That way you get benefits across many factors and functions of your life.